All right, I am super excited about today's sales training. Uh, it's a little sales secret. It's a very simple formula that if you can follow, can really unlock a lot of opportunities for you in sales. Before I got into sales, I was in academia. Sales was this unknown, scary, like somewhat dirty industry that I thought we should avoid at all cost. Partially because I didn't understand it very well, partially because there are some bad actors in sales. But once I learned this framework, it was a huge paradigm shift for me and so that's what we're gonna teach today. Going back to before before I was in sales or before sales made sense to me, I thought sales was, hey, I have this product and service, you should just buy it. Kind of like a retail type experience or trying to convince somebody why they should get something. That's all I thought sales was. That's probably like beginner level or novice level sales. Expert level sales has what we call this breaking preoccupation framework that you can use to help move somebody from not wanting to buy something or, or not knowing about something to getting them to make a commitment. Infomercials are notorious for it. Watch any infomercial, it'll be the exact same framework that I'm using here. So this framework involves four easy steps. The first is what's called breaking preoccupation. Another name for it is pattern interrupt or an attention grabber. The second is present the problem. The third is present the solution. And the fourth is transition or commitment. The way this works, like in an infomercial way, the commercial comes on and there's some kind of shocking image, something that grabs your attention, right? Someone spills red wine on a white car. Carpet. And that's the problem that some people like you can relate with, right? They'll show the problem of trying to like mop that mess up. Pull up with a towel, they gotta wash the towel, or they'll use like an old paper towel that doesn't soak it up. Present the solution, which is a, a new paper towel, the better nice one, bounty or whatever, that soaks it right up and looks amazing. And then there'll be some type of commitment like find this at your local grocery store our mind is on a certain track. In order to get it on another track, there has to be some type of reset. A door-to-door -door salesperson will try to use a feature on your house or tell a joke or ask you your name or tell you your name. Something that's out of the ordinary, that's the first step. The second step is to present a problem. People aren't going to make a change unless they know they're in pain. You would never go to a doctor if you feel good. The only reason you go to a doctor is if you have pain. So if you're selling a product or service, if someone doesn't understand why they need it, they're never going to buy it in the first place. Our pain in solar is someone's utility bill. Our first thing we'll always bring up is rising energy costs or inflation or the environment, environmental crisis. We don't, that doesn't ring with people as much as, as rising utility costs, but you need to bring that problem up. And then once the problem's there, you need to present a very simple solution. So the solution is probably the easiest part of those three steps. Probably the hardest is the transition or commitment. And this is where most people screw up. How do you get someone to actually pull the trigger or make a decision? The best way to do this in any advertising selling situation is to start with little commitments and work up to big ones. Usually what most advertising will do or an online ad, if you see an online ad, it won't ask you to buy the product immediately right there. It'll ask you to like fill out your email to get more information and then it'll take you to another page to explain more. That's the same thing we do. Instead of telling, asking them someone to buy right then and there, we'll say, let's set up a time to go over and educate you about solar. That gives them time and space to think about it, get education on it, and then they're in a better space to make a decision. But that framework is is used by basically every marketing company in the world and all the door-to-door -door salespeople to get their foot in the door one, but provide a product and service to someone that needs it. So let me give you like a, an example door pitch in like our industry that we use to help someone introduce the solar and potentially buy it. Our break preoccupation will knock on the door and introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Cody with Equal Solar. Usually people's names are listed. We have like apps that show people's names if they're their homeowner or not. That's what breaks preoccupation. You know, I'm not just there to pitch them. I actually know who they are. And I'm here to help solve a problem. So I'll say, hey, is this the Smith residence? And they'll say, oh, yes it is. Usually how can I help you? And then the second problem Problem, the way I present the problem is say, my job's really simple today, just need a couple minutes of your time. Obviously, you know, energy rates have been going up. You've probably seen high electric bills. I'm just here to set an appointment today to see if your home qualifies for a lower electric bill if you have solar on your home. And that's it. And then the transition is, we're not making decisions today. That's the transition sentence. We're just setting up a time to see if your home qualifies for that. Does Friday or Saturday work better for you? And that's an option close. We'll have a link somewhere in this video where you can go learn about that more. And then people have a decision there. I gave them a really simple problem that they know they have, rising electric costs, a potential solution, which is going solar, and then an option to learn more Friday or Saturday, and it's totally up to them what time they want to do or if they want to even take the appointment. I know that framework sounds really straightforward and it should be easy. If you're first starting at it, it can be a little awkward because it's not just the verbal, it's the nonverbal that goes into it. Kind of like a professional gymnast, they make their really hard routine look really seamless. It's very simple movement, but the years of practice that go into that that make it really effective 
perspective, that's the same with this framework as well. Like if you practice it over and over again, break preoccupation, problem, solution, transition, or commitment, it literally pays huge dividends. Well, that's it. In our industry, we call that like the door pitch. Hope it works out. We'd love to hear in the comments if you've used that, like what kind of settings you used it in, if it's successful or not. Appreciate your time. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.